Hello students. Now we will start the lab experiment for software engineering. Previously we have done videos, learning, learning with videos for software engineering theory, where we have done resource gathering, feasibility study, analysis part. And after that, we have done designing part. In designing part, we have to make some diagrams to understand the software engineering project. And when we make a lot of diagrams for our project, we can understand project very well. Software engineering lab is aimed to provide the hands-on experience with different aspects of software engineering through UML. UML means Unified Modeling Language. This including requirement identification, data flow diagram, behavior diagram, structure diagram, by implementation diagram, testing to diagrams, and by these diagrams, you can understand your project more and more. Working with the UML on above aspects of assigned project to get feel of a real life software development process. So, you have to say that in real life, you have to software development. By making UML, you can understand your behavior of your project in different ways. When you make data flow diagram, you can understand how data will flow. When you make use case diagram, you can understand what is the relationship with the use cases, means roles and actor. When you make entity relationship diagram, you can understand the association, aggregation, and generalization concept of classes, entities. Now, there are some experiment we will prepare First is that we will prepare a class diagram with the help of UML. We understand also uh, aggregation association in the class diagram. Next, we will see the ER diagram. Then we will see data flow diagram, use case diagram, and sequence diagram in UML. Now, if you want to make this UML, you have to download and install any UML tool. I am doing work with the star UML. You can download rational roses and others. So many um, UML tools are there. But I am um, doing in star UML because, because it is free and open source tool for the UML diagrams. So you go to the Google Chrome, download to star UML. Click on the star UML and download it and install it and start working with this tool. Now, when you go to the Google search, you write here star UML download free Windows 10. So you can see the first site is download star UML. You click here and you will see this type of screen, which is for the MacBook. Windows and application, image application, something. Now I am having Windows 10. So I will download this UML version. When you download it, you will get this type of uh, logo and diagram. And you install it. And after that, you can work with it. In next, you go to the download folder you will see here star uml setup you have done setup downloaded and you install it by double click like this it will installing now after this you can see this type of diagram in your desktop and if you double click here you can go to the star uml here now you can see here there are so many uh, menus are there and here are the components of menus when you click model like this add diagram is the option 
and in this ad diagram you can see so many diagrams are available you click er diagram so you can see here all components related with er diagram i have clicked class diagram so you can see class interface association directed aggregation means these are the component of class diagram and with the help of these component you can make a class diagram so we will do it in um, star uml now first question is experiment is prepare and draw class diagram using uml what is a class class diagram or class class diagram is uml diagram and what is you make it it is a static type of structure of diagram static structure diagram which describe the structure of system showing the systems class their attributes and operations any class diagram we are having rectangle box have three part in first part we write the name of class in second part we write the attributes of classes and third part we write the operations of classes now for example we make class diagram of atm here you have to make bank class diagram of bank diagram of customer diagram of atm account which has two sub classes means 1 2 3 4 5 6 classes you have to meet and you find out or identify the attributes and operations for these classes like this we make bank class customer class account class and account class has two classes current class and saving class you see here generalization specialization means account is generalized class having two specialized class current account and saving account here you can see this type of diamond with this it means atm is a part of bank account is a part of bank customer is a part of means this is a part of relationship we can see aggregation and here you can see has relationship you we can see is association one customer can make one or two or three four account now how will you make this we will go to the next screen that is that is a star uml already i have made three classes bank class you have seen there customer class and account class now we have also seen the aggregation means account is part of bank customer is part of bank i have made this diagram previously and one or two class we will make here now we have also seen that customer and account has association has association and after that we make generalization specialization so we make a class here that is which class what is the name of classes current account accounts have actually are of two types current account and saving account current account is normally used for the corporate and um, industries for proprietary and uh, that uh, saving account is for general every person can make the saving account now here we have account attributes are account number and balance now you can see the type of visibility balance is a type of visibility private account is also a type of visibility is private 
normally the attributes having private visibility mode and functions are having public visibility mode that is operation we write here withdraw 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 and we will make this withdraw public means in class you can see here we are having current account class having two attributes account number and balance which are private in nature visibility mode is private and withdraw has public visibility mode means you can use this function outside the class and this function we will use the private property of this class now we will associate account and current account with the generalization association we drag this to this yes and we can write here a kind of now account is general and current account is a special type of account now we will make the second classes saving account s a v i n g saving account and after that we write here attributes again account and second one is balance p a l and the type of balance is again private and the type of account number is also private <coughs> and the operation we had operation is withdraw or we can say deposit also now again we will put association type generalization is this like this it, it should be blue and then we write like this a kind three type of association we have seen simple association has relationship aggregation is part of relationship means customer is part of bank and this generalization specialization is a kind of relationship like this okay you can make class diagram like this you choose a class and after that association aggregation generalization these are three four things are common things you can make this type of class diagram one class is also there atm class i think you can make it now i think you got and understood how will you make a class diagram how will you make a class diagram having three rectangles class name attributes and operations and with the help of this diagram you can understand that how many classes are there static natures are there and what are the attributes of classes and what are the operations the class can do and how will they relate with each other which type of association they have related in next class we will see the next diagram till then goodbye